Hey, what is happening, everybody? Drill Pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you. When I saw this colorway pop up on end, I just knew that it was a shoe that I wanted to take a closer look at. And once again, I've got an Adidas silhouette from the 90s that I feel like Yeezy had to pull some inspiration from. But I'll show you some of those similarities as well. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's look at these Adidas Street Ball 2s. It is windy as windy could be right now. My word. I wish you'd blow all these leaves out of the yard instead of into it. Hopefully y'all can hear me okay. It's a beautiful day. Man. Love the fall time. We got an Adidas Originals box and plastic waste. Then uh, the sticker at the top stating that some of the contents are, are recycled or this product is made with recycled content. So, so you can have the warm and fuzzy feeling about wearing them. The tag reads Adidas Street Ball 2. This is a UK size 10, which is equivalent to a US size 10 and a half. These were 130 bucks retail, 10 bucks for shipping, and then tax on it. Had them right around $150. It says these are Victory Crimson and Core Black. And then here we are. I am very, very happy with the way these shoes look and right off the bat actually before i even had them in hand they reminded me of the yeezy quantums just the shape of them and even some of the features about the shoe just gives me the same vibes that yeezys give me i love the mix of colors i love the mix of materials on these and i love how unique they are i think they're just a really cool looking shoe the street ball, as the name would suggest, is an outdoor basketball sneaker. And like I mentioned on the intro, it did come out in the 90s. I'm not sure the exact year. But I feel like this shoe is kind of a mashup of an outdoor basketball sneaker and a lifestyle sneaker. But of course... The Yeezy that it reminds me of, the Quantum, is is Yeezy's version of a basketball sneaker. So it kind of makes sense that they've got the same shape and just some of the same features and whatnot. It came with these bright yellow laces already in them. They're rope style laces, but they also gave us a spare set and that's like a khaki color I'll probably swap them out before I throw them on but real quick I just wanted to do a side by side so you could see in my opinion I think the shape is very very close and the quantums have boost cushioning and the street ball too it also has a natural gum outsole and there in the heel you can see some boost cushioning. This doesn't have full length boost, but the Quantum does have full length boost. The Street Ball has something that they call light strike in the midfoot. And I don't know if that's just referring to the foam or what, but this sail colored foam, it's it's pretty dense. It's got a little bit of give to it, but um I don't know if that's what the light strike technology is or not. I really don't know anything about that. But we'll start out with this outsole and it's just a natural gum color and I love that. As I mentioned before, you can see that boost cushioning there in those little windows at the heel. And then coming up from that natural gum outsole, we've got this sail color. And it's just a neat, I like the shape of it, and I like the pattern on there. But then on the inside of the shoe, you can see that it says light strike. 
and I'm gonna have to look that up I should have done it before the video but I'm not sure what that is in the front of the shoe you can see that natural gum outsole wraps up to meet a black leather mudguard and I really like the shape of that I think that is reminiscent of several different Yeezy silhouettes just the shape of it and then there's a cutout in there and it looks like the middle is kind of like a little bit of a mesh material but surrounding that you've got some reflective and it really lights up when the light hits it but I like those touches directly behind that we come to my favorite material on this shoe and this is just a really nice feeling I think it's a new buck it's either a new buck or a really short haired suede but I love the color of that I love how warm it looks and it feels just as good as it looks you get a whole lot of life out of it and a lot of movement whenever you change directions sometimes it's hard for that to be captured on camera but you really see a lot of color change whenever you change the direction of the material and that's just always a sign of good quality but it feels great and I really, really like the color. I think it makes it a really good shoe for this time of year. And then going to the eye stays, we've got this mustard colored suede that's kind of like shaggy looking. And again, it feels like great material. It feels like material good enough to be on a Yeezy. And of course, the Quantum's retail for $250. This retailed for 130 I had to pay a little extra just because it was shipping from overseas, but I think this is a great shoe for the price. I think the style is perfect for this time of year, and it's very modern looking, but it also looks extremely comfortable and functional as well, so I love all that about it. Coming back the shoe, we've got more leather overlays, and that's just like a black color, but there's kind of like this window where it reveals like a neoprene material and we've got some burgundy colored stripes and they're unique and it's just a different look. I haven't really seen any other Adidas shoes with that. So I think that's cool. But this trim looks like it's glow in the dark. I don't think it is, but it just has that appearance like that light green color. And then as we get to the back, on the heel, I don't know how well you can see this, but it's got like the rubberized material exactly like you'll see on 500s. Like on the base of the sides of 500s, it's got a rubberized material and it's got real, real faint lines in it. But that's what it feels like on the bottom of the back here at the heel. Then up at the top, this is another similarity to the Quantums, but it's real nice neoprene material. It feels great. And then on the back, you've got a plastic accent, and it's surrounded by 3M material. The tongue really reminds me of like an Oswego tongue, and it's a tan color, and it's got another little hit of that burgundy suede or new buck, and I think it looks great. 